Hey y'all, I'm Elisa, the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com. Today I'm working in my creative journal planner. All right, today I am working in the creative journal part of my planner. This is my Franken planner and I have a whole section for journaling and I have been using the Kell of a Plan dashboard layout for my journal. And this week I am going to decorate for the week of January 22nd through the 28th. And I'm wanting to use some of these gorgeous new stickers from Live Love Posh. She just released the Lux Floral box set and it is so so good. It's so good. So we're going to dive into winter because of course that's where we are. So we're going to grab some of these stickers, put together a beautiful creative journal entry and get ready for the week. Um, as always, I will link the supplies that I use down in the description box below. Some of those are affiliate links. Doesn't cost you any more, but really helps me out when you're able to shop those. Otherwise I'll put you all on fast forward. Let's go. I will always be kind of partial to these icy blue colors because those were the colors I chose um, for our wedding day because my husband and I got married in December. So icy blue and silver were some of our wedding colors. And I think this is so beautiful. I'm actually decorating this on a day where it is snowing outside and snow has been a little bit rare in the Northern Virginia area in the last couple of years. So I'm very much enjoying the winter scenes, taking it all in. And I thought it would be so fun to have the same feel in my planner for the next week. So I'm starting with those corner stickers. I think the corner stickers make it so easy to kick off your page because you know where they're going to go. They just really set the tone nicely. Like I said, this is my creative journal planner. So what I do on the right side where you see the days of the week is normally I just write a couple sentences about the day, some thoughts, some feelings, something like that, maybe some highlights from that day. And then on the left side, it's kind of open. I can do lists. I can do long form journaling. Um, it's whatever I kind of choose, which is why this is more my creative journal planner. If I want to fill up the whole left side with stickers, I can do that as well. So we have set the scene, we have the florals, we have our little Arctic friend right here on the right. He's cuddling up with those florals. And then I want to add a little something extra. This is some special washi tape. I don't know where I got this. I've had it for years. It is silver metallic snowflakes and they are so pretty. So we're going to add two big long strips. It's a little bit tricky getting it off of the clear backing. You can see I'm like trying to figure out I kept going at the wrong side. It was a challenging uh, Monday when I was filming this. So I'm going to pull this apart and then get it down onto my page just to, again, we're kind of driving home that wintry scene and the little snowflake detail is absolutely perfection. I'm going to bring it in in a few Places. I know some people don't really like foil or um, foil stickers or foil washi. I think it adds a nice little shine to my planner. So I'm always a big fan. We're going to balance it out with a long strip of this washi tape over to the right side. And again, I wish I could tell you where I had gotten this. I wish I could find a link, but it has just been in my stash forever. I use it like once a year um, to add a special touch to one or two spreads. Um, and then I save it and I've had it, I don't know, for years now and I love it. So let's add this other strip I was having trouble. It's very delicate, all foil, removing off the clear backing. And it just, it goes down nicely, but man, it's a little bit finicky. So I just want to make sure I can get it as straight as possible. All right. I think that is really cute. All right, now well, let's just have fun creating some clusters. I'm going to pull some of the functional boxes and layer them with florals. That is my favorite way to bring in all of these different florals on the page. I'm just going to go straight up in the middle because again, I can put whatever I want here. This will probably be like a gratitude section or a big highlight of the week, or maybe even a quote. That would be another thing to include. Um, we're going to have our, our other little Arctic friend hanging out right there in his little perch. I think it's so sweet that she includes included um, these beautiful little animals on here. I think it definitely brings the scene together. 
going to add a few boxes. What would I put in the boxes on the right side? Because I just told you I write a couple sentences. This again would be a highlight of the day, a gratitude for that day, something like that. I think it's just fun to create a beautiful spread for my creative journal planner. And then I just fill in however I feel like there's no rules, which is again, another reason to create a planner that's just fun for decorating, just fun for writing in um, without any rules of having to, you know, stick to a schedule, things like that. All right, I'm going to add another cluster down here because we're going to just create a big, huge gathering right here, making sure that that is as straight as possible. It's looking good. I need a little bit more balance, which means um, some more functional boxes over here on the right side. I do want to bring in florals. Whenever I'm putting a functional box down, I want to back it or line it with florals. I'm trying to see if this one will be the right size. I think it will. I kind of wish it went the other way because I wanted it the functional box to be right here. I wish the floral kind of trailed off to the left in, or sorry, to the right instead of to the left, but that's okay. I'm just going to work with what we got right there. Super cute. And now I'm just going to add a few bullet points um, to the spread to bring that blue color around just a little bit more. These are kind of bigger bullet points. They fill up the whole line plus some, um, just a bigger style bullet point. If you don't like that particular style, you can always cut bullet points in half and do like a semicircle feel. And that not only gives you twice as many bullet points, but will take up less space in your planner. At this point, I only had four boxes on the page. I felt like I needed an odd number, so I'm going to bring over one on that particular Saturday and then add in a couple more sets of this washi tape, just some little hints of it, one on the left side and one on the right side. I also have some silver glitter washi tape pulled out that I'm going to use as well to add um, just another hint of silver in some different spots. I'm seeing here's my silver. I'm like, oh, no, where would that go? I'm going to add a little bit over here. Again, this is a fun washi tape and just that little glistening of silver, I feel like brightens the whole spread all together. The layout I'm using, that's from Kelva Plan. It is her dashboard style layout that she designed. I do believe it's available in undated um, over on her website. So maybe make sure to check that out. I will have her link down below as well. All right, a few little bits and pieces of silver washi. Love how it's coming together. I was going to end the spread right here, but as I was putting it into my planner to start to take pictures, I realized that really I wanted some quotes. So I actually went and pulled out um, a different Live Love Posh sticker book. I went with Hello Winter and I pulled that one out and there are some great winter quotes in the back. I'm just going to cut this apart. There are some winter quotes in the back of that one. So I picked out a couple that would work really well on this spread and then added them in, had to back one of them with some extra florals just to bring the florals up to the top left. And that's going to be it for this creative journal planner spread. I love this new release from Live Love Posh, Lux Florals, a whole box set of seasonal floral stickers that you'll be able to use all year long and you're going to want to use all the different sets. I do have a full unboxing and flip through of all of the seasonal floral stickers that just got released from Live Love Posh. So you can check that out on my channel. You can also shop for this release using the link down in the description box below. All right. I want to give a huge shout out to all of my Patreon members. You all are the best. It's like a fun little crafty family over there and we would love to have you join us. So check out the link down below, see what's available over on Patreon and try your seven day free trial today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. Otherwise, I hope that all of you have a fabulous day and as always keep it creative.